So we've got to craft your message. And really, your message can be distilled down to the answer to what I think you know, is, is five pretty straightforward questions. It's just most of us don't, don't dig in this way. And then after we go through the questions, I'll, I'll help you understand how you can turn this into maybe a, a, a simple message that you can always expound on. And I'll, and I'll share how that works in a moment. So the five-part formula, like the five questions, the first one is, who do you help? Which, that's part of what we just went through, right? Your, your person. You got to get clear about who we're trying to help. So we won't dig into that too much further. The second is, what do they actually want? And, and I think a lot of people in our industry kind of turn this around, right? Like, they don't, they want to talk about what they do but they don't talk about what, you know, what the actual person wants. And um, it, it's really important that we figure out like, what they want, because if we're trying to put a message out there that's going to be magnetic to somebody, that's going to really attract them to us, it needs to have you know, the problem they're trying to solve. It needs to address that, or it needs to have, you know, the goal in mind. There has to be a benefit specific to them for them to get it, to embrace it, right? So that's number two. And, and that's a real problem in our industry, right? Like we love to talk, we get very passionate about what we do and how we do it. And, you know, we use this methodology and we do this sort of uh, assessment or screen and we train in this format. It's not that that doesn't matter. It's just we have to connect the dots. We have to tell them how that helps them get what they want. So we lead with that. We know who we're talking to. We know what they want or what problem they're trying to solve. And then we have to be able to explain how what we do, like how do we solve this problem? It's not enough to say we do group training. If somebody feels like their problem is they don't have accountability, they have trouble staying motivated or being consistent, or you know, they, you know they, they start programs and then they get hurt or something like that. We have to be able to tell them how we do things and how that's going to solve those particular problems, right? Because if I feel like my problem is I don't have time, then you have to be able to tell me how coming and training with you will fit into my busy life. So you can't treat your marketing message like just some arbitrary brochure where it's like, okay, we've got sessions at these times on these days, and we do this, this, and this, and you know we use kettlebells and sandbags. And I mean, it, it's all valuable. We we get it, but they're not the expert, and we can't expect them to be the expert. They're the expert in what they want. They know that they want to feel different or look different or behave differently, or have different habits, and certainly, you know, have a different outcome. So we got to lead with that and then talk about how what we do is the best solution to give that to them. And then the fourth kind of question here or, you know, step in this message is what's the result that they're going to get? And, you know, some of it should really be tied to the answer to number two, what they want, right? So we need to be able to tell them, okay, you want this, you're going to get what you want, but then we may give them more than that, right? We may say, yeah, not only do, you know, did we have this client lose 30 pounds when she said she wanted to lose weight, but now she's not on you know, her diabetes medication anymore. Now, she doesn't have any more low back pain. Now, she actually was able to run a 5K for the first time in her life. You know, so what can somebody expect? What are they going to get by working with you? Because sometimes people have goals and they get very myopic with those goals and they don't think about all the other things that they would like because it's just a lack of awareness. And some of the stuff just might be completely off their radar. They may think that that opportunity has passed in their life, right? So they may not think 
that they can feel a certain way or do certain things, but if they see these possibilities, then that might be exciting to them, right? That might be a, a trigger for them to, to, to take your offer even more seriously. So when you think about what's the result, think about the answer to number two and then some, right? And then finally, the fifth one is, why should they choose you over all the other options they have available to them? Now, there are plenty of options. Some of them may address, you know, number one specifically. They may address the who specifically. But they may not address these other questions, right? They may address number two specifically. They may say that, okay, a client wants to lose weight, we do weight loss. But maybe they don't address number three in the same way. Maybe, you know, we, you know, we deliver a service in a different way or the schedule doesn't work or whatever else. So some of this, the answer to the first, you know, four questions helps shape number five. But even if all five kind of, or all four line up the same, there still should be a reason people choose you. And it might be social proof, right? It might be that we're not just saying we do this. Here's a list of the people that we've worked with. Here, here are before and afters of the people we've worked with, and here are the results that they've gotten. Or it might be as simple as, um, you know, the fact that you've told your story and they connect with you personally. You've got a great story, so you've got, you know, you, you can empathize with them. See, for a lot of people, they answer number five very simply. They say, well, it's price or it's convenience. You're going to choose us because we're the cheapest or the closest. You need to have reasons people would choose you other than those. And I think that the better you are at answering the first four, the less separate work you have to do to answer number five. But you have to be clear, like people are going to have options. One option is simply doing nothing, doing the same thing they've been doing, right? Apathy. But they can work out at home. They can buy, you know, something from Beachbody. They can buy any number of the, the hundreds or thousands of home workout programs that are available. They can join a big box health club. They can join, you know, one of the, the ever-growing group training facilities that, that pop up in every community. There are all these options. Why are they going to choose you over everything else that's available? So here's how this works in, in a practical sense, right? You've got to be able to say who you are and what you do. So, um, you know, for me, I, I help fitness entrepreneurs build their ideal business. You know, I've referenced my wife, you know, in, in the first iteration of her business, it was, I help busy moms become the best version of themselves, right? So you've got to be able to answer this. Now, is this your complete marketing message? No, but this is like the core of it. Because what's somebody going to say, okay, I help fitness entrepreneurs build their ideal business. How do you do that? Who have you helped? How much does it cost? Is it, I mean, is it something you do locally? Is it something you do, you know, is it something that you do online? I mean, there are always going to be follow-up questions, right? But if you were to sum up, like, your little elevator speech, it's, I help fitness entrepreneurs build their ideal business. I help busy moms become the best version of themselves. You know, I, you know, I help baseball players reach their potential. So we've got this, this very concise foundational message, and then we, we can answer the, all the follow-up questions because of what we talked about on the previous, you know, uh, on that previous list, the, the five questions. We know who we're dealing with, so we know more about them, more about what they want, right? We know how we do it. We know why people should choose us, but, but think about this. Like, everything that I do 
can be kind of encapsulated in this. If I'm going to choose a testimonial, like a, a case study, a success story, whatever else, it's going to be to validate that statement. So I don't have to say, well, I've just got this broad range of before and afters. It's fitness entrepreneurs that build their ideal business. You know, so we can always narrow the, this kind of piece of the puzzle here because if you figure this out, if you run direct mail, this is the foundation. If you run Facebook ads, foundation. If you want other people to talk about your business, we all want more referrals. Well, if you can't explain who you are and what you do, how can you expect other people to do it? So that's your message.